is happening guys, welcome back. Um it's been a while since I've done an actual vlog, but uh I've actually got something to vlog about now. So the flying stuff and everything. Um I've just been using the GoPro. I haven't really been anything to talk about, just been filming it for people's experience, from my experience, uh, and for the end of year vlog. But today um we've just tested out the conversion kit for the kind of sensing headphones, which is of what I have, is a GoPro. Uh, or with the GoPro, we tested it out with, um, but it is the Bose Q35 headphones. Um, noise cancelling, fully functional for music, um, and this is this is them. This is what they look like. They're the, they're the Bose ones. Um, what a nice piece of kit. I love them. Love them for music. Um, stumbled across an article in the Microlight Mag. Uh, the BMA send out every month about converting them into aviation headsets. I've always wanted both headsets. I thought these these this would be really cool. Why not bite the bullet get the conversion kit? So the conversion kit sent me back about two hundred quid, which wasn't well, that's not too bad for a conversion kit really. It's a full like headset kit just without the headset. But um, it was sent out next day delivery. I was a little bit underwhelmed when it arrived, um, because it, it this this is what arrived. So it is the Crystal Mic by OC. Um, it's not bad. It isn't bad. It was just I was a bit underwhelmed with the box. But when you open the box, you've got all the stuff that, that you you would need in it, um, which is basically mic boom for clipping onto the side of the actual headset. And then you've got the headset conversion itself so you've got the dual pin plug and bits that just clip into the headset itself to render it usable basically you also get a magnet which is stuck on the side there um, and that's just basically for magnetic mic but this is what it looks like once it's all that's it a couple of seconds and it looks like this it's all ready to rock around and go flying with um, yeah, quite sturdy, that's not coming off anytime soon. Noise cancelling works fantastic on it, and it fits the C42 when I'm flying at the moment uh, with the dual pin plugs. So I was like, brilliant, let's try it out. Um, so to give it a go. There's a few interesting points in this, so this flight is a little bit different. This flight was, uh, I'm not going to go and find an instructor's course, this flight is kind of a, an idea to get where I'm roughly I need to work on bits and stuff. But I also wanted to test out the Bose headphones. Which I hadn't done yet, so I wanted to do that. I'm using Sennheiser ones at the moment, nothing wrong with them looking to pieces, but I do, I've always wanted to own both. So, the Sennheiser ones uh, got replaced for this uh, time, and we went flying with the Bose. Not bad, first initial thing, noise cancelling was fantastic, um, and I could hear, hear Luke beside me, um, who was my friend, who was also an instructor, um, who we do a lot of flying with together. So, that was good, he could hear me, I could hear him. Um, Took off the winter runway in Deanland, 200 meters long, and then we went for um, just a bit around the countryside. So we went under Gatwick CTA, um, just 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 for a bit of low level nav and to test out the headsets and to test out how well my skills actually were. It's been a while since I did low level nav, so we went and did that, um, and that that was that was fine. So as you'll see, there's a few bits in here now um, that I'll have. So without further ado. Let's have a look at that. Fantastic, how does it sound? It sounds good. Brilliant. I'm really, really liking this. I've got my noise cancelling on. It. Oh wow, this is like a game changer altogether. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is a first for me now. <laughs> so we've got a crosswind from the right. Yep. The stick is over to the right, holding the brakes, popping on full power now. Let it go, full back pressure, keeping straight with the rudders. Try and hold it off. As we come away from the ground, lowering the nose, maintaining this attitude. We come round to the right. There we go. Brilliant. 
pressure is on here because you know 1500 foot I mean to be fair the cloud base is below the airspace yeah but um, you know we don't want to be at 1400 at all because at that height they might think that we're in the airspace yeah because they're using the transponders here at the moment flight level 1 so okay, 17 November Juliet is that being flight level 9 to inbound mark 260 knots 831 you know what well, that's based on the 17 November Juliet that would turn right to 270 degrees yeah. but the central should 2000 feet so that um, the central lake is inside the zone oh ok so let's come to the right come to the right right come to the right a bit more that's it Easy 9 to Alpha Papa, turn left, heading 29 or 5 degrees, clear dial in. Yeah, we're right on the edge of it now. That's it. Heading 2, sign of 5 so degrees. So let's go through this little valley behind it. Runway 26 left, easy 9 to Alpha. Heading 7 to November, Juliet, speed 180 knots. The furthest green field, yeah, right. 1 8 to Alpha, turn 3 dial speed, 7 to November, Juliet. Maintain 1 3, perfect. Four one one two zero seven flight level one hundred two flight two zero three nine two. Is it four one two kilo get with load of same flight eight zero no delay two six left. Easy four one two zero. Easy nine two alpha So for talking in the cockpit, it was really really good. Um, worked fantastically. He could hear me. I could hear him. Uh, everything everything worked fine. And there was on a few occasions where I tried to transmit uh, Farnborough. Now I was low. I was about eleven hundred feet. Um, over some high ground and uh, Farnborough was quite far away so as soon as I called him they said unreadable Radio, good afternoon, Golf Charlie India, Charlie Buck Drop Charlie India, Charlie Fox Rock, Bomber Radar, use full call sign, similar call sign on frequency, pass your message. Golf Charlie India, Charlie Fox Rock is just out of the main VOR, a local flight out of the man and routing back to the man. Request safety service. Charlie India, Charlie Fox Rock, unreadable. I decided we give Shoreham a shout instead. Called Shoreham, they understood me. Shoreham Radio, Golf Charlie India, Charlie Fox Rock. Charlie India, Charlie Fox, what's your own tower, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Charlie India, Charlie Fox, is just north of Lewis, departed out of Zenan on a local flight back to Zenan, request basic service. Charlie Fox, what's called 3763, basic service you have, 9 at 9 at... Um, yeah, that was grand, and then, as we went along, there was only one transmission where they did, they just said it was un unreadable, so I'm... Not sure whether that's got something to do with with the the mic boom um, kit on it, but I need I need to I need to go flying on a clear day where I can get a bit higher, get get lots of height in and uh, test it out that way as well and just see but I'm hoping that's not the case because I really really do like these and um, I really really want to use them more but yeah uh, I do I do think it's worth worth the kit um, 100% I do think I think it's worth it but uh, yeah it, it, it is quite quite pricey but it's worth it and that is um, yeah, as you can see from the video, they they work well in the cockpit. But yeah, that is that is my review on the uh, Chris Mike OSEI uh, headphones. So yes, thank you for tuning in. We shall get back to you very soon. More vlogs to come. I have an end of year one coming very soon, which is in the process of just so much to put into it because there's so much happened this year. Um, but yeah, stick with it. As you can see, it's Christmas time, first of December. But Thank you guys, and I'll see you all soon.